Hey up peeps, it's the AG Pop Tart 101 here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys four doll size finds. So I found these all at Party City, which is a party store. Now, if you, I don't know if Party City, I, don't, I think it's only in the United States. So, depending on where you live, just go to the party section of any store: Walmart, Target, Michaels. I don't know. Does Michaels have a party section? I, I don't know. Hmm. Either way. Let's get started. So, the first thing I found is a doll size tambourine. Now, this is one is green. Can't really see it that well. This one is green. It's a brighter green than what's on camera. But, um, the original one I found was pink, but I don't know. Then I finally found where all the other tambourines were. So, woo! And, just, if you, just in case you're wondering, Here's the doll hand, the magical doll hand. And here is the tambourine. I think it fits pretty well. It may be a bit too big. It may be a bit overproportioned, but it's not like too drastic. Because I mean, if you look at that. Yeah, I mean it's good. Besides, tambourines come in a variety of shapes and <laughs> bugs. Shapes and sizes. That is really cool. Okie dokie, so then the next thing I found is a doll sized Rubik's Cube. Now, I know that um, this was one of many. They had tons of different Rubik's Cubes. They had ones with princesses and Avengers and all this stuff. And so finally, after looking around, I found one that was just solid colors. And these may look like two of the same color, but one is like a um, lighter shade than the other. Yeah. And here I will use Molly, who is still in her I'm using t shirt PJs. Here's the doll hand. It fits perfectly. I mean, I'm so glad. And now that I have shown it to you guys, I will show you all six sides and then I'm going to scramble it up. Now I have never solved a Rubik's Cube before, so I'm a little bit scared to do this, so well. Ready, set, go. Making cool music. Making cool music. Oh my goodness. It it moves. <coughs> There's this bug. I don't know if it's a mosquito. Let me try and catch it. I'm going to be like a cat for a second. Just, just keep watching, keep watching. Or you can skip if you want to. Oh man, it's like a gnat. Oh my gosh. I'm so afraid that it's going to, like, fly into my mouth. Oh, my goodness. Man. Tiny Rubik's Cubes. Have tiny proportions. Okie dokie there. So it is now all scrambled. I think that just makes it more, look more realistic. <gasps> Anyways. So the next thing I found is a doll size. Oh, that's why it won't stay on. Paint set! Now, the lid does not stay on very well. I think it's because it's sort of cracked on one of the edges. See that? Anyways, but here is a doll-sized paint set. This is adorable for those of you who have sage. And it does say paint set, so I'm assuming that you can put water on these little tablets and they'll become paint. It also has an itty-bitty, if I can get it out, it also has a tiny little paintbrush. Ugh, this is very hard to get out. Yeah, and you can take out the tray. I just realized that my tray is really bent. I'm wondering if it's like an Easter egg paint set, maybe? Like, you know, from Easter? Hmm. I don't know, either way. I'll tell you the prices in just a second. But it also came, and instead of um, having, like, the chopped top, like a lot of my paintbrushes do, it has, like, a rounded top, since it was made specifically to be miniature. I think this is adorable, and for those of you who don't have sage, if you go to Party City, totally get one of these. Be or, not don't have sage. For those of you who do have sage, and, like, maybe if you missed out on her paint set, you could easily get this, because it's adorable. And there's real paint. I mean, on the back it says paint set. So, I don't know, I mean, hmm. And the last item, which I guess was kind of unreasonable now, is this foam book. Now, when I saw it, I thought, oh, it is a doll-sized journal. 
I saw that it said phone book on the front, but I thought it would just be blank pages on the side. Turns out it's an actual phone book. So, um, I don't know. I'll probably find use for it. It was only like 25 cents, so it's not like I wasted a ton of money, but yeah. But the reason I got it was because I thought it was perfectly proportioned. Because if you see here, we should use Kaya, since she has not gotten to model anything since her time being here. See, if we use Kaya, it's a really good proportion. Like, look at that. It looks perfect. Perfectly sized. Notebook. Anyways. And those were the four items I found at Party City. I'm really proud of these four items. Yeah. My favorite item overall... Hmm... I'm going to try and get this to be a thumbnail, so. Hmm. My favorite item, I really don't know. It's sort of between the Rubik's Cube and the paint set. I think my favorite item would be the paint set, because if you have sage, you can totally use that. And it's like real paint, too. Anyways, but thanks for watching. And if you want to know how much these of these things were, then you can just look down in the description. They weren't that much. Um, or I'll just say it here. Uh, I'll... I'll leave the prices in the description, too. Blah, blah, blah. As I said, this is $0.25, cents and everything else was $0.95, cents, I believe. I believe so. Anyway, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, like, and subscribe. And what is your favorite item? Goodbye.